Kevin. Some call it the clicker. Some call it the zapper. Whatever name it goes by, most households fight over the remote. Now the gadget guy is here with the next generation of remote controls that will keep you in control of your electronics. I've I don't know about you, but the last three remotes I've mm -hmm. purchased with various appliances say universal remote, it can control everything, throw all your remotes away, and they never work. Well, it's a little tough, and even to figure out how to program them, you have to go through a little keyboard dance, pushing yeah. buttons, holding buttons. But I, I brought in my coffee table. I brought yeah. in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a mere eight remotes. And some of these do a decent job about uh, controlling everything. Probably my favorite for that is the TiVo remote. Uh -huh. and it's got a great shape. I love the, the peanut. It just holds in your hand here. But you can get it to program uh, and do like a volume on a stereo instead of the volume on the TV mm -hmm. or it'll power off and on the television. But this is just kind of like the, the, the smallest steps of a programmable remote. They, and you do find it works with the... I must be doing it wrong because none of mine ever... It, it is a little bit tricky to set up. But moving forward, you go into a remote like this, like the 5-in-1. Mm -hmm. And this one's all about programming different devices. And this one actually, I guess my, my salt test for a quality remote is to see if it will actually control a TiVo. Uh -huh. And this one actually will. It has the directional arrows, but there's really no thumbs up or thumbs down button, so that makes it a little bit difficult. Now this one also backlights, which you can kind of, it's got an eerie blue glow to it, which is unique. difficult to show in our That's true. lighting here. Here's another remote that I like. This one I use to control my lighting in my house. So this has a, a technology called X10, and this is actually a radio frequency remote, so you can walk around the house with it, and you can control different lighting. Uh, you can turn on the Christmas tree lights without having to reach behind the tree and plug them in. I think that's probably the, the best use of a you are technology a geek, like this. Is, you must drive your wife crazy. I, I really do. This, this remote's only 20 bucks, and it gets the one to control electricity. You get a free kit to also you know, program some mm -hmm. of your lighting with it as well. Oh, I like it all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Now, at, at CES last week, they showed some of these remotes, which were CES more like... CES is the big electronic the show The consumer electronic show. And these are the remotes that are more like PDAs. Right. And this one has a screen where you can actually program menus in and you can do macros. So you can actually tell, set a scene. So when you push a button that says DVD, it, it lowers your screen for your projection uh -huh. TV, it dims the lights, it starts the popcorn machine. Puts on some romantic nice music. music. Yeah. Calls up your girlfriend. Oh, that'd be nice too. But these, these start at $150 and they work their way up to $500. Which is unbelievable that what you're getting out now. They're of remote standalone, here. Or, or, or are they just programs for a PDA? Well, there's there's two instances. The, the product I'm showing now is the Philips Pronto, mm -hmm. and this one's a standalone remote. But actually, some of the the companies that manufacture remotes have taken the infrared codes and put them into PDAs. So now you can buy a new compact iPad uh -huh. or a HP iPad, whoever whatever brand you want to call it today and those have the remote control codes built into them. Now you're gonna pay $4.99 for one of those current model HPI packs, mm -hmm. but at least you can use it for remote control when you're at the house. You know, business, you're using it for your contacts and information, but at home use it as remote. Right. Now this one's really innovative. This is called the Invoca, and it's only $50, but this one's voice controlled. So there's a little mouthpiece at the top, and you can just sit like three feet away from it and talk to it. And then it also has more buttons on the bottom of it to do some programming with. Oh, yeah. But this one, when the movie tells you to run, get to the chopper, what does the remote do? Finally, I want to show two more remotes. There's um, a remote here on my left here, which is the Harmony remote. And this mm -hmm. one allows you to use the computer to program it. Now, these things are very complex, having to, to do a tap dance with buttons. You can actually use your USB port. The PC controls it. And finally, Radio this Shack. This is what I want to find out. The Radio Shack Chameleon, it glows. It's backlit. The guys were super nice at the store tonight. They're so sold out of these things. They're only $59, but they have this touch pad and this electroluminescent display. Do you have to keep in this advertising thing? Well, no, Surely that's they, they let me walk out of the store with their one in the well, their yeah, demo, which I really appreciate those guys, but $59 at Radio Shack, and this is pretty much the ultimate in geek appeal. It glows and it's eerie. All right, well, thanks. Before they use their remote on me in the control room, I gotta go. Thanks, that's, uh, <laughs> that's quite a selection you brought. Up next, we'll have stocks of low